Okay, this is the gamut comparison that will probably be of most interest to most readers um, uh, and most potential uses of the CG211 uh, because it's a comparison against the standard definition for the sRGB color space, which is the color space that most cameras operate in. And as usual, we have the uh, gamut displayed of the CG211 here in LAB color space. I'm going to mark that for comparison. I'll go up and grab a standard sRGB profile. And uh, as always with these uh, gamut displays of this sort, uh, wherever we see a solid color poking through, that's a case where the um, profile being compared is greater than the one of the device that we're looking at. And um, where we see the, the white wireframe lines uh, showing through, that's a case where the CG211 monitor's gamut is greater than the um, reference profile. And so what we see here is um, it's really very good news for people working in sRGB color space. Uh, the CG211, except for just this tiny little area out here in the red, really uh, completely encompasses, uh, and I guess is a tiny little bit down here in the blue, it really encompasses the full sRGB color space uh, very neatly. It's got a little bit of uh, breathing room just about all the way around, regardless of what part of the spectrum you're in. So the uh, ASOS CG211 would be a really excellent monitor for working in S sRGB color space. There really aren't going to be many colors that you could get to in that space that you um, wouldn't be able to see on the CG211.